Hey Mountain View, good day to you. This is Pastor Ken coming at you on Friday, September 11th. Um, on this September 11th, as every other September 11th, our mind goes back to uh, the September 11th many years ago now. And uh, we think on this day about uh, what God has done in our nation, what, what He has allowed to happen, and uh, what's happening today. And I think there's, there's a lot of concern going on. There's, there's a lot of uh, clearly questions uh, being asked right now by the people of God and by just about everybody else. And I think today is a good day to, to stop and remember a few things. Remember that God is in control. Remember that He is still on the throne. All those Christian cliches that we talk about all the time, they're, they're cliché and common for a reason. We must remember, we must remember that God has promised to never leave us or forsake us. And even in times of shaking, even in times of question, the, the believer in Jesus Christ, the blood-bought, the saints of God, the redeemed, get to lean back against Him and say, I have peace. Even when I, everything around me like, looks unpeaceful, I have peace. Psalms 46, I was reading this morning, uh, says something very appropriate and applicable today. Verses 1 through 3, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I love that the Bible says very. Like He's not just present, He's really present. He's with you right now. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way. Though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling, we will not fear in all of these things. Fear is an absolute forbidden territory to the believer in Jesus Christ. It crouches at your door. It, it tries to overtake you. But if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you get to say, that's not my birthright. My birthright is peace. My birthright is hope. My birthright is joy. So today, whatever it is that you're facing, whatever's going on in your life, you have hope. The reason I'm saying these things almost as heavily as I am right now is, is we're all walking through a few things. Uh, one of the things I need to tell you about is Robert Holiday's uh, memorial service is tomorrow here at Mountain View at 11 a.m. And this is tragic. This is difficult to walk through a dear brother, a dear friend taken from us far, far, far too early. And I'm leaning on verses like this to say, God, though the mountains fall into the sea, though the oceans roar and foam, though circumstances rise up against us, I will not fear because God is on the throne. Jesus calls us His. And we get to say, all right, he's going to bring us through. That's absolute truth. So come on out tomorrow at 11 a.m. for Bob Holiday's service. Let's throw our arms around that family and mourn with them in this time of mourning. And also celebrate a life very well lived by our brother Bob, who is now resting in a way that we can't even fathom here. And then join us at 10 a.m. on Sunday. For those of you who can come in person, we love to see you. Those of you who uh, need to catch the stream, that'll start at 10.30. We're going to continue talking about what God is saying today. The Church of Jesus Christ and the world needs to know what God is saying. And John 10, the, the Lord says that my people, my, my, the sheep of my pasture, my sons and my daughters, they know my voice. How can you know it? You hear it. And he speaks to us. So come out and we'll listen together. God bless you guys. Have a great rest of your Friday. I'll see a good portion of you on Saturday, a better portion of you on Sunday. And for those I won't see, I love you. My heart is with you. Stay in touch. God bless.